Photo, Muppet Mania, The Beatles Adventure. Story. Picture this, my friends. The Beatles, those lovable lads from Liverpool, find themselves in a world and whimsical world, none other than the colourful realm of the Muppets. It's a groovy, unforgettable crossover that will have you singing and laughing along. Our Fab Four, John, Paul, George and Ringo, are transported to the Muppet world through a magical musical portal. They land right in the middle of Miss Piggy's big fashion show at the Muppet Theatre, and you can bet that chaos and hilarity ensue. As the Beatles navigate this new, felt covered reality, they form unexpected friendships with Kermit, Fozzie and Gang. Together, they embark on a mission to save the Muppet Theatre from a villainous developer who wants to turn it into a parking lot. Along the way, there are toe-tapping musical numbers like Hey Jude, Don't Make It Fuzzy, Octopus's Garden Party, and a show-stopping rendition of Yellow Submarine, featuring, of course, a real Yellow Submarine. Will the Beatles and the Muppets join forces to save their beloved theater? Can they outwit the dance of the developer and keep the music alive? You'll have to watch Muppet Mania, a Beatles adventure, to find out. It's a wacky, heartwarming, and toe-tapping tale that brings together two iconic worlds in only a way Jim Henson and the Muppets could do. Today, we're going to be making posters for the movie concept that we've just read. I want to make a poster for each Beatle, each featuring a classic Beatles album. Let's start with John Lennon. First, I prompted Midjourney AI to generate an image of Lennon as a Muppet. It's crazy how good it turned out. This image of John looked most like how he looked in Abbey Road, so I decided to make our first poster based on that album. Here, I'm grabbing an image of Abbey Road without the original Beatles crossing. Then, I'm adding both of these images to Canva. Here, I'm blurring the background so that the focus is on the icons themselves, then adding a shadow to make it more dynamic. For the title, I found this template with a font I'd like to use. I felt that it wasn't too over the top, but still fun. This will be our movie title, Muppet Mania, which is a spin on the phrase Beatle Mania, by the way. I want to add a subtitle in the Beatles font, so I'm grabbing that off the internet, just to clarify that this is a Beatles movie. To make this more like a movie poster, I'm adding an In Cinemas Now tag, which I'm writing on a vinyl disc. For each poster, I want to add a quote from a Beatles song of that album. For Abbey Road, I've chose the line from Come Together. And that's number one done. We're going to go for George Harrison next. I wanted to do a Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club band for George. So I asked Midjourney to generate me an image of him as a Muppet in his Sgt. Pepper's uniform. Coming over to Canva, I'm dropping in our reference image and painting the background the same color using the eyedropper tool. Now I'm grabbing an image of the Muppets from the internet and using them as a substitute for the famous figures portrayed in the original album. I'm going to paste George here in front of the Muppets and I'm blowing them to add emphasis to George. Next, I'm going to add in some greenery, similar to those in the album cover. For each of the posters, I want to use the same movie title, but with variations. So I'm pasting the title we used in the last poster over to this one and changing the colors to the theme of this poster, red and yellow. The quote for George's poster is from the opening song. We hope you will enjoy the show. Copying over the In Cinemas Now vinyl and that's George finished. Two to go, time for Ringo. Mid Journey AI did not take it easy on Ringo's nose. Every image had an abnormally large nose. So mean. I felt that the Yellow Submarine album was most suitable for Ringo, so we will be recreating that. First, I'm adding in the original Yellow Submarine. Then I decided that I wanted the Muppets in each window, so I'm going to add Fozzie, Ralph and Gonzo, who also has a big nose. But after adding them all, I realized there was little emphasis on Ringo himself, so I decided to take him out of the submarine and place him in the forefront of this album. Technically, he would be drowning though, so let's pretend this is an aquarium enclosure or something like that. I'm now adding in the title and changing the colors to match those of the submarine, then dropping in our signature vinyl. For this poster, I'm going to quote the song Yellow Submarine. And there we have our third poster. Last but not least, last but not least, Paul McCartney. 
The first vinyl I ever bought myself was Revolver. So for Paul McCartney, we're going to be recreating that. This album features the Beatles in black and white line illustrations. So I've asked Midjourney AI to generate Miss Piggy and Kermit as pencil drawings. I'm now asking it to create Paul McCartney as a Muppet, as I did with the other Beatles, and then editing him into black and white, as if he's been cut out of a newspaper. This is because it was all a bit too much to ask for Paul as a Muppet and a black and white illustration, and it confused the AI. I tried getting images of Gonzo and Fozzie in this art style, but it thought Gonzo was a crow and Fozzie was a teddy bear. That's why I decided to get some colouring pages to use as background images, similar to the art style of the Revolver cover. I'm now adding Kermit and Miss Piggy back into the mix and replacing the titles. It's a bit hard to see these titles as it's all in black and white, so that's why I'm using shadowing and outline effects to make them pop out more. The quote for this poster comes from my favourite song on this album, Tomorrow Never Knows. And there is our final product. Thank you for sticking around this far, I hope you enjoyed the video. The Muppets were my childhood and the Beatles are my favourite band to this day, so this is very much a video I wanted to make. So if you enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed making this video, then please do consider subscribing. It's always super helpful when people subscribe. We're halfway to 100 subscribers now, so it would be a massive help if you hit that subscribe button. But that's all from me, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.